My name is Mario Ortega. I am the Quality Control Manager for Expo 2 Project. I'd like to talk about our quality control orientation process that all new hires go through. One is giving all employees empowerment to stop work if something's not right. And the other reason why this orientation is such an excellent tool because everybody's on the same page with you. They understand notification, they understand permanent materials, what all the requirements are. And lastly, what's expected of them. The inspection and test plans or ITPs are great tools that we've implemented on the Expo 2 job. They provide a clear and concise way to make sure we're fulfilling all the project requirements. The ITPs are made up of two parts. The first is a list of all the key requirements. We put this list together by scrubbing through the drawing notes, through the specs, and any applicable references. The second part is a series of checklists we'll use in the field to document we're doing the work correctly. The ITPs are used in the field by both the crews and the inspectors and it proved to be an effective way to achieve zero defects. Okay, to, get, to inspect this bridge, I want to make sure that I have my reference materials, my reference specifications, and most importantly, my shop drawings, my approved construction drawings, and my construction work plan. Okay, we are now at Catalina Batch Plant. This is the plant that supplies all the concrete to our project. Behind me, I have one of our inspectors. Anytime an inspector comes to the batch plant, they will have on them an inspection checklist. And in this inspection checklist, they can verify that all the contract requirements have been met. This morning, I'm at Bundy and Exposition, and we're pouring the uh, Bundy Bridge passenger platform. It's uh, going to involve about 260 yards of concrete. Uh, the, the evolution will take about eight hours to complete. After the concrete is sampled, it's take, taken over and tested for a slump. Just by eyeballing this, I've seen miles and miles of this stuff. This is about a four and a half inch slump concrete. Very good concrete. Right there. Oh, welcome to the Expo 2 on-site lab. Uh, I'd like to tell you guys the benefit on having a lab on-site. You can do concrete, asphalt, soils, all sorts of testing, as much as you want. You have an hourly employee that's doing all your testing, so it works out to be a great benefit to the project. This one will come fresh out of the tank. We have pad caps for these ones. This one's an ASD.